Once you are logged into your email, you are ready to write your first email. Now your email inbox looks different than mine because I've been using mine for years, but they have a lot of things in common. Over on the left-hand side, you will see a reddish orange compose button. If you click compose, a new email message will pop up. Now you can keep it this size, or if you'd like it larger, you may click on the arrows on the right-hand side for full screen. This is a full screen email message, and this is what I'll keep it in for this video. In the two boxes where you're gonna to wanna to type the email address. Be careful to type the whole email address as it is written with the at sign and with no spaces. If you put spaces in an email address, it will not send. If you type your email address incorrectly, it may be sent to the wrong person or will not be sent at all and will be returned to you. In the subject line is where you're going to write, what is this email going to be about? So I'm going to type hello because it is an informal email to Maddie. In the email, there is a spot for the body of the message and that's right below the subject line. And remember, here's where you're going to begin typing your message. So dear Maddie, I hope you've had a great day at school. What would you like for dinner on Friday night? Don't forget to bring home your library books. And then you're going to sign it. Now, since I'm writing to my daughter, I can sign it, love, mom. If you're sending it to someone who isn't a family member, you probably don't want to sign it, love. After you've done that, you can look on the bottom toolbar and there are ways to change the font and to bold or to underline things. Remember in an email, you don't want to use uppercase letters for your whole email, for that is considered shouting. When you have it the way that you'd like it, you will then click send. Once you've clicked send, you have just a few moments where you can click undo. If you have made a mistake and have sent it before you're ready, you have a few seconds to click undo and it will not go. That's one nice feature in Gmail. It's not available in all email applications. So again, if you're ready to send, you will click the blue email, the blue send button. If it minimizes, all you have to do is click on it and it will come back up. Click send and your message has been sent. Congratulations you have sent your first email.